Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to uh, Paper Mario. So, we ended off right here on Mount Rugged with Paracarry, our new companion. So, let us go and return to some areas that we haven't been to. Well, we've already been to. But, I can show off Paracarry. He has a couple of different things. Skydive and Shell Shot. Shell Shot is a little bit uh, strange because it is. I find it really hard to aim. Um, I'll try and get it on point and on this guy, but I'm not very good. So press blah to the left and release uh, when aiming at the cursor. There we go. He does a ton of damage, though. That's a big thing. Because he t does a ton of damage, but it's also very... I find it very hard to aim. So, now that we have him, uh, he's good at taking out the clefts as well, but in battle, uh, or outside of battle, rather, Bombette is still the better one. His normal attack, Skydive, is kind of like a normal jump attack. You uh, press the button right before you land. I'm not really good with Paracarry's attacks. He is not my primary um, partner. I don't use him all too often because... There we go. I'm just not good with his stuff. He is very powerful, though. I'm just not good with his uh, stuff. There we go, dodge that. I like my new uh, damage dodge badge. And skydive. So I'll leave him out for probably a little bit. I'm not going to bother trying to uh, fight all the Monty Moles right here. But I will go up and get that badge. So we do this. He flies us over. You want to try and be kind of as far over as possible half the time. So, Quake Hammer, slightly damage all enemies on the ground or ceiling. This one is actually really nice. So, Quake Hammer does two. Um, hammer Throw, I'm going to turn that off. Turn Quake Hammer on and Power Jump back on. Quake Hammer is so much better than Hammer Throw. If there is more than one enemy here, so Quake Hammer, like it said, slightly damages enemies on ground or ceiling. It's the same as any other hammer attack. You hold it until the red star appears, but you do two damage to everything on the ground or ceiling. Very, very powerful badge. And you get it really early on, which is nice. Plus the charge for the hammer uh, affects it, so it makes it even more powerful if you uh, charge it up. So, really nice thing to watch for. I can hit him. Does no damage. If I can get the shell shot off right here, a little bit easier to aim on bigger targets. But as you can see, takes uh, takes those guys out in one shot as well. So, still a really nice, handy thing. But, I'm going to switch over to Bombette here. Get this guy to chase me. And that's not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, well, I'm going to explode him. And then uh, attack the Monty Mole. There we go. And he's going to throw a rock at me, which I can dodge for no damage. I so, so love the damage dodge badge. And so what I'm going to do now is even though the correct, one of the correct ways to go is down, I'm going to go up and get that star piece uh, on the mountain that I didn't get. Not that I didn't want to get it. 
It was just kind of out of my range because I didn't have paracarry at the time. Dodge the clef there. Should be another clef here. Dodge him. Dodge the Monty Mole. And then I can paracarry over here and get the star piece. I do want to get as many star pieces as I can, but I probably am not going to 100% the star pieces, only for the fact that I'm not 100% sure where all of them are. So, get back over here. That gets me over on this side. And then I can come down here. Open this gate. Come down this way. Dodge the Monty Moles. And now... I'm going to switch over to Bombette again. Because there is another cleft that I need to pass by. There we go. Which is so much easier just taking him out. I bomb that clef. There we go. So that clef is now done for. Still getting quite a bit of experience. That, get all the coins, because why would I not get all the coins? And now I can use Paracarry to get across here. Again, it's not where I need to go, but it's somewhere I need to go for now. Well, you're talking to me. I don't see anyone else here. All right, you are talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields, but you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation here. Take this as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. So I got another magical seed, or mystery seed, whatever you want to call it. I got another seed from another one of those little plant guys. So those will be useful later on. You want to get as many of them as you possibly can. Which there is a limited amount of them, but you still want to get as many as you can. Anyway, let's fly across this bridge here. And we have that guy up there. So he's going to watch us. As you can see, he's... He's just watching us. We get past it. Hey there, hold up a second, partner. Hmm, just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. And he flies on over. Hmm, pulls out his little piece of paper. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fellow Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now, give me your name. Luigi. Hmm, well, Luigi, huh, Parrot, you don't... You do look like this dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. I reckon you can pass. Yeah. This is a completely optional boss. You do not have to fight him at all. There is there is nothing that tells you you have to fight him. You just say your name's Luigi. You can pass by without an issue. And I believe even if... Yeah, there we go. So you leave the screen, you come back. Hey there, hold up a second. Just darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. So anytime you go by him, though, this is going to happen. So he pulls it out. Yep, very similar. Blah, blah, blah. What's your name? My name's Mario. Mario, well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I've got to burst, bust you up. So, there you have it. Um, I should have had Goombario out first. I'm going to change members to Goombario. I'm going to use my honey syrup. I'll give me some. This guy is going to attack. 
and the less damage you, or the more you do that, the less damage you take. And I'm going to jump on him and wait for Goombario to jump back up. He's going to dive attack. And do damage. He does do quite a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to save that. I'm going to tattle on him. This is Buzzer. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Max HP 40, attack power 3. If you get caught <clears throat> in the clutches of his sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. Try to wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind. This attack damages your partner too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. Okay, so now that we know that, we can, uh... Uh, do, do power bounce and hopefully hit him for a good amount of times apparently not yeah as I said he does do a ton of damage um, I'm going to actually fried shroom I'm going fried shroom because that will give me HP back and a little bit of FP. I'm going to change member over to Paracarry because he's actually the better member right now. Come on. Don't think I got it. Because I think your little OK meter has to land inside of that thing. Um, I'm going to actually maple syrup now because I do want a good amount of FP which is the big thing. I'm going to shell, shell shot do 5 damage against him and I was thinking he was going to do win so I was uh, getting prepared to that. Okay. So fudge. I was hoping so hoping I'd do more damage there. But, I'm not doing too terribly bad. Fudge! That thing is so hard to dodge. Okay, um... Super Shroom? Get that going for me. Shell Shot again, because that does a good amount of damage. Do that, get one damage there, parry carries out for a turn, which is okay. Do uh, power bounce. Do four damage there, that uses all of my uh, stuff. There we go. So I escaped that one, which is good. What can I do? Just normal bounce on him. He's not too, like, he's a, a tough battle. For being early on. He's not so bad, but he is a, a tough battle. There we go. One, which is good. One. He's... His hitbox is... I'm not used to his hitbox. That is the big thing right here. So get this going. Escape his grasp. And now, if I can hit with Paracarry correctly, I will finish him off. There we go. Perfect. So, 15 star points from that. Oh, I got whooped! And he flies off the cliff. Uh, optional boss battle. Fairly tough boss battle for this early on. Uh, it is easier if you have more health and FP, but as I said, I'm going for badge points right now, so that is the build I'm going. Then you have your little health thing here. You have your little save thing. And you can move on to Dry Dry Desert. So Dry Dry Desert actually holds a lot of interesting stuff. But uh, right now, let's go talk to this guy. 
Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels? Known as Colorado, I'm an archaeologist. You know, I traveled the world. At the moment, I'm turning dry, dry desert upside down to try to find the dry, dry ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need's a clue, and we'll be golden. What? Whoa, you're Professor Colorado. This is why I switched over to Cooper. It's Cooper, I live next to you. It's so great to see you. I never would have expected to meet you with meet up with you out here, right in the middle of an expedition with Mario on be an archaeologist like you. Hello there, Cooper. It's been ages. So if we we're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish the one task before starting the next. Oh, okay. Since we're done saving the princess and mushroom kingdom and everything, you and I will go exploring. So that is why I switched over to Cooper, because he talks to Colorado. Anyway, let us just go straight to uh, Dry Dry Outpost. Um, I do want to switch over to Goombario and fight at least one of the bandits. Bandits are kind of tough. Okay, so tattle on him. This is a bandit. Bandits bump into your, into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to ten coins. Max HP five. Attack power two. Defense zero. They'll slyly approach and then slam into you with all. All of a sudden, if you can dodge them in your, an attack and get your, uh, you, if you can damage them in an attack, blah blah. Okay. So pretty much damage them and you get your items back. One reason I really want the Quake Bash is because now Mario can attack them all in a single blow. So they steal your coins. If you can uh, dodge the attack, then they don't steal anything. There we go. So now there are two and I don't really have to worry about damaging them all, I only need to damage the two that stole coins from me. But I want the Quake Badge so I can make sure that I get all of them all at once. Like that. Now that there are three, Quake Badge all of them. Or Quake, yeah, Quake Hammer all of them. Yeah, all my coins back. Doesn't ma really matter which one I head bonk. I head bonk one of them. And then I can just finish this guy off. So, wanted to do that really quick. Cooper also works really well because he has this uh, shell shot or shell shock power. But they also give a ton of coins. I'm actually going to go back and heal really quick and then go over to Dry Dry Outpost. There we go. Get all my health back. And now to go to Dry Dry Outpost. And we will just continue onwards until I get there. Bandits are really nice well, not very nice when they do that, but very nice. So I'm going to switch over to uh, Cooper right now. I'm going to uh, quick hammer them all, because I really do want to get rid of them quickly this time. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. So, what? How much? So, 2 FP there, 3 FP there. So, Quake Hammer is actually the better one because it only costs 2 FP to do. But, for the sake of just getting rid of all of them, I'm going to do that. There we go. And that gets rid of every single one of them. And again, you do get quite a few coins from defeating them. 
Now, all you have to do is follow the uh, path. I am going to fight this Pokey, though. And then tattle on it. So there we go. This is a Pokey and Evil Cactus. Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and falling on you. Max HP 4, attack power 2, defense 0. Be careful fighting them. You'll hurt if you jump on their spiky heads. They also have an annoying habit of calling in reinforcements. Let's beat them quickly. So yeah, they do call in reinforcements. Uh, do I have anything? No, I do not. So again, actually I'm going to charge my hammer really quick. So there we go. And then they throw parts of their body at you. I find it very hard to dodge. I'm sure other people dodge it just fine. But with charge, attack for four each. So there we go. That gets rid of all of them all at once. And then do that. Switch on over to Cooper again. Cooper is actually a really good uh, partner in this area just because of his multi-enemy attack uh, or multi-enemy attacks he has. But let's talk to this guy. Hello, fellow traveler. I'm in the middle of a journey just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. The town is what you seek. Follow this path to the east. A desert call town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at the path's end. So yeah. Just follow the path. You can hit palm trees to get things out of them. As you can tell, there's a lot of enemies that happen to be in here. Okay. Come on, hit the tree. There we go. I think I actually wanted to hit the tree the mouse was under. Probably, yeah, I think that I did want to hit that tree. But uh, Dry Dry Outpost is going to be here. There we go. That is what I was looking for. Dry Dry Outpost. So now I'm in Dry Dry Outpost. Save my game. A purple guy coming out of there. And running away. So there is something special about the item shop which... I don't remember what it is. Is it running around this way? Or is it running around this way? I don't remember. There's something that you do by this tree. I don't remember what it is. But it's either running around or stomping which I don't have the ability to stomp yet. But it's one of the two, and I don't remember which it is. If it's running around it or stomping. But that's revealed, revealed later on. So we can keep going into the town. We can come over here and actually come over here jump over these boxes and find this lady. Hello, welcome. How are you feeling? Jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merle. Ah, uh, you see, that's me. A cute gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Not right now. So, there we go. So, there is a hidden shop behind there. Kind of, you don't realize it's there unless you really know. But let's, let's take a nap really quick. Ah, uh, there we go. And kind of wander about a little bit more. I'm almost at the end of the town, so that guy goes away. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Uh, give something. 
Um, how about a mushroom? Do you want a mushroom? Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. You're a very nice guy. You'll give me something more. Don't give anything. Yeah, there there is a specific order you need to give him stuff in. And right now I don't have that. But uh, you see this mouse bolting back and forth. Welcome, traveler. Uh, this is the renowned Little Mouser's Shop of Dry Dry Outposts. What can you be interested in? Uh, nothing right now. So you have things. So you have lightning that attacks enemies for five damage. A dusty old hammer. Throw it to damage enemies. Honey syrup, which is five FP. Dried shroom, which is one FP. Dry dry out or uh, dried pasta, which is three HP, two FP, and then a mushroom, which is five HP. Common common store. But I'm going to save it and end the video for now. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back next time with more Paper Mario. See you guys then.